Hi and welcome to M-Driven's starter course. So this will uh, give you a lot of small tasks that you're supposed to um, do piece by piece, one by one. And uh, if there are any issues, you will find information on the wiki or on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. So uh, please don't give up. Uh, but instead uh, try to find the information and uh, as a last resort we will always be there to help you by uh, reaching out to us. So let's get started. And the first task, start the M-driven design and by clicking the click once link. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I mean by that and possibly it will take a bit more time for you because it downloads this if there's a new version that you don't have um, if there is uh, if you're using chrome as i do in this case you might need to install this uh, uh, plugin to actually kickstart the, the click once install so that was assignment one number two create an empty model and save the file as mdriven education start modeler right so creating an empty file new saving it save as see temp new folder and driven education start and the file should be modeler save so this uh, warning is fine <clears throat> assignment 3 create a class person save the model from now on save the model often control s all right so in order to do this uh, we are on a diagram here i can just double click it to get the whole diagram and uh, define information add a new class so what's the class gonna be called person right control s to save save create an attribute name of type string in class person Let's do that again. Right click, add attribute. Or maybe attributes. Person, add. What should it be called? Name. The type, string. Save. So we are already on step four, step five. Press play, choose XML persistence, start system, show debugger. Play, prototype and test your system. XML, start, debugger. So we're in the debugger. In the debugger, in an expression box, write the OCL expression to show all instances of your class person with the operator all instances. This is an expression box. I can get more. I only need one. I'm going to write an expression. I can get help with expressions by doing edit. This one shows me available classes, person. Dot all instances. Okay. Person all instances. Execute. Empty. Result list is empty. Note the empty result list. You have no person objects.
7. In the debugger, bring up a seeker, search, it will be empty, create two person objects. Debugger, bring up a seeker, nothing happens because we need to choose which cloth. Seeker, search, empty, create, one row, create, another row. Step 8. In the auto form for person 1, give it your name. In person 2, write some other name. K. Open. Name. Hans. What? Person 2. Some other dude. Step 9. Save created person objects from the save button in the debugger. Debugger, save. Step 10. Find the saved XML file on disk in the same location as your model file. Okay, so we saved it here. Maybe I didn't spell it correct. Found a file. Open it. With. Microsoft Edge. Find <clears throat> so I did that one. Eleven. Open the XML file with notepad or what have you. Find your name. Close the file. Here's my name. It's under name attributes on a person object with an identity of zero. Here's another person object. Some other dude. Close the file. In the debugger expression box, use the expression to find all persons from step 6. Note the result, two rows. Here. Execute. Two rows. If I click one, I get this one. Step 13. Close the debugger, close play di dialog, close M driven designer, save if asked. Close debugger, close system prototyper, play di dialog, exit, then restart performing step 1. File, recent files, your saved file, press play and go into debugger as step 5, play, xml, start system, debugger, personal instances, execute, two rows. So, step 16. Close the debugger, close play dialog system prototyper. Find class person in tree to the right by filling in the search box on top of tree. Person. 18. Note two rows. One is the class, the other re result is the property person name. So this is the um, property. Select person class in tree. 
look at the property inspector below tree. Change its default color to cyan. In the search box, press escape or clear the search box. Note tree structure of entire model in tree. Twenty. Find the diagram one in tree. Double click to open. Diagram one. Twenty one. Diagram 1 may be empty. Drag and drop person class from tree onto diagram. Press start in the top left corner to show, show start wizard. Twenty three. Right click diagram, choose add class. Rename new class to car. If I stand on this and press F2, it will go into edit mode. If I press this, it will also update here and I can change the name here. Doesn't really matter. If I double click it, it will go into edit mode. Car. Use zoom buttons or control wheel to zoom your diagram. Zoom buttons. Control wheel. Enter association mode by pressing association arrow in tool button. Drag out new association mode. This one is generalization mode. Association class connection mode. So this is the one we want. Drag out new association mode. Now it's selected. 27. Click and drag, click, drag, hold association from person, hold mouse, move to car, release. Release. Twenty eight. Rename cars association end to cars I used to own. Make sure it has cardinality zero to many. Cars I used to own. Cars association end. Double click it or maybe select it and change it. Change it here. It doesn't have a name because the default name is the same and if we were to give it a name here or here that would stick course i used to own course i used to own multiplicity in the text i said cardinality it's the same thing synonyms multiplicity is used here 29. Rename person association end to previous owner. Cardinality, multiplicity, 0 to 1. Select it, 0 to 1, previous owner. 
add an attribute to class car with name registration number of type string. Add attribute, double click it, or select it, double click it, registration number, string. Thirty one. Find the car in the tree by using the search box. Double click the car in the tree. Note that the screen is not your diagram, it's an auto diagram. Car, double click it. This is not the diagram, it's an auto diagram. Note the link in the auto diagram to class person. Click class person. Note the auto diagram shift to center person and show car on side. Car, person. Person, car on side. Car, person. Find your way back to diagram one by finding it in the tree. Escape. Diagram 1. Alternatively, search for it. Diagram 1. Double click it. Alternatively, find it in the picker over here. Alternatively, find it in the overview and double click it. Remember to save. Thirty-five. Play button, XML persistence debugger, expression to list all instances of person. Play button, XML persistence, start system, debugger, person all instances, F5, execute F5. Click up the person with your name. Note the new multi-link button for cars I used to own. Click it. Use add new button to create three cars I used to own. One, two, three. Click up the auto form for each car. Give them registration number old car one, two, three. Step 40, save the debugger data. Save. Clicking up the name again. Old car. That points back to person, previous owner. Open. That's me. So, very good. Hope you made it this far. We don't expect you to master things immediately. You will need to go back and try again and repeat and uh, remember how you did certain things. Um, but these are the basics to create uh, information models and testing them out. There will be hundreds of more steps, but this is the, the initial first 40. See you later.